hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back um today i'm going to be reacting to atheist debates with dr zakina on various topics uh, in this one he asks about why the quran wasn't introduced before 1400 years ago so without wasting time let's get into the video some people ask question only for questioning i a question but the true gentleman when he gets the answer he accepts it you know, people just ask for questioning. My question is, you spoke very loudly. I am asking you, I gave a speech. I said so many things. Do you agree with it or not? Yes, I agree with it. Are you a Hindu? I'm actually your favorite. I'm an atheist. Atheist, That's mashallah. That's what I heard you enjoy. You're atheist. You're my favorite. No, I'm not your friend, but I was told that you like having debates with such. Yes, yes, fav, atheist. Okay, brother, you're an atheist. Fine. I would like to congratulate you. You'd like to what? I would like to congratulate you. You know why? Why? The reason I congratulate you because all the others, all the human beings, they're blindly following. Father is a Christian, so son is a Christian. His parents are Hindu, he's a Hindu. Many of the Muslim parents are Muslim. You are thinking. I know their father was atheist. Father was atheist? No. Ah, good. So you're thinking. These are the people they worship this almighty God who falls down and breaks. So you are thinking. And the reason I congratulate you is because you have said the first part of the Islamic Shahada, La ilaha, there is no God. You have already said half the kalma. But not the second part. They have said the full kalma. You are half Muslim now. Atheist means half kalma, you know, La ilaha. Only thing you have to do is illa Allah but Allah which I shall do inshallah. I'm congratulating you because you have agreed to the other people who believe in wrong gods. First, I have to spend half my time in trying to convince them the God you're worshipping is wrong. You have already agreed there's no God. Only thing I have to do is prove to you about Allah, which I shall do, inshallah. Brother, suppose there's equipment which is bought. Equipment is bought in front of you. No one in the world has ever seen. No human being has seen is born in front of you. And if I ask you the question, who is the first person who will be able to tell you the mechanism of that equipment? I've heard this speech and it's the creator. It's the creator. So the creator of that equipment will be the first person who will be able to tell you the mechanism of that object. You may say creator, you may say manufacturer, you may say inventor, you may say maker, whatever it is somewhat similar. Now I'm asking you a question. How did this universe come into existence? How did the universe come into existence? You are going to now mention the Big Bang and all No, I'm that. asking you. Yeah. Don't tell me what I'm going to mention. Well, I want to know what, if, what is the... If you no, you to... are... I'm asking you according to your knowledge. No, the thing is, I've actually heard this speech before. I'm Fine. actually a good fan of yours, you know that. Mashallah, you're a good fan. Good fan, theoretical or practical? If you're a practical fan, practical. you will follow. If I'm wrong, you correct me. If I'm right, you join me. No, I only learned about you about two weeks back, actually. Fine. So in two weeks, you became a great fan. Mashallah, I'm very happy about it. In two weeks, you learn about me. That means you know. You know about the creation, the Big Bang, yes, which yes, we came yes, to yes, know yes, recently. Know that, Quran yes. mentioned 14 years ago in Surah Ambiya, chapter 21, verse number 30. Well, I don't know the verses, but... Fine, but you know that. <laughs> yeah. Similarly, we did not know that the earth was spherical. We came to recently. Quran mentioned 14 years ago in Surah Nazia, chapter 7 yes, and verse number 30, it is spherical. We thought first the light of the moon is its own light. Quran mentions 14 years ago, the light of the moon is not its own light, reflected light which we came to know recently. Who could have mentioned this? There's biology, there is water cycle which you learned in school. There is embryology, there is genetics. My question is, who could have mentioned all these things in the Quran? So if you have heard this, you also know the answer. Who could have mentioned in the Quran? Same answer. The creator. The creator. This creator who has mentioned in the Quran, we call as Allah. So that means you believe in the creator. Who could have mentioned this in the Quran? The creator. The creator who created the human beings, the person who created all this universe. It can't be a human being who writes all this. So now do you believe in a creator? Well, there are different perspectives, you see, a person the has. You can we'll think about on. science or you can think about God. Now, the debate is which to follow. No, we problem. can follow both. I but believe in as both. I, as I, I said. A, I'm a student of science also. 
Also, I am a believer in God. Both. As, as my opening question stated, what I asked about terrorism, I believe you also know those are certain facts that brother, we will come to terrorism later on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, we are talking brother, about brother, that. Brother, Why wait, I don't brother, believe? Brother, wait, brother, wait. You asked me direct question, suicide bombing, killing innocent, wrong. I gave direct answer. Now I am asking you a direct question. You give me a direct answer. You ask me. You are happy with my answer. No beating around the bush. I am asking you directly. When you believe in the Creator, why don't you accept the Creator? I am asking you directly. You ask me direct question in front of 30,000 people. I give a direct answer. I am asking you direct question. You didn't believe in God. I congratulate you. Now I prove to you that the Creator wrote the Quran. Now I am asking the question: Why don't you believe in the Creator? I didn't say that I believe in the Creator. No, I you was said just the mimicking your speech. Oh, I which didn't. I watched. Brother, I didn't ask you to come here to mimic me. Please. Did I ask you to come and mimic me? I asked you who wrote. You said Creator. I didn't say. Did I say that? No, but that's even what in my you, speech, I don't what, say. That's what you said. Even I in didn't say. Speech. The questioner said. That means you haven't seen my speech correctly. Like how you are telling. When I ask and yes, yes, he gives the reply, Creator, not I, not I. That means I haven't seen my speech correctly. It is a person like you who I might have asked the question to. He gave the reply. Like how you gave the reply now. Did I ask you to mimic or did I ask you to give answer from your heart? So that means. You are not a very truthful person, na? No? You asked me a question, brother. I gave answer directly, from my heart. Correct? Yeah. I am asking a question. You gave the answer. Now you are saying that I am mimicking. Okay, if I say the Creator is what you want to hear, now. Not what if, I want to no, hear. No, 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 no. Listen, hypothetically here. Not hypothetically. If, if we say that I agree to the Creator now. What if I say that I agree to the creator of what was written, but I don't believe what was written justifies everything. You're giving me six facts. Correct, you're correct, correct. Me, very good, very good. You're wait, telling wait, wait, me wait. six things, but there's a lot in life that's not written there. Fine, fine. There's Come, nothing wait, about wait, 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 wait. gravity or you're just telling me about light on the moon. Correct. Very the good, very light. good, very good. The brother says he believes in the creator, but everything is not there, brother. This book, the Quran, is not a book of science. S C I E N C E. It's a book of signs. S I G N S. It's a book of ayats. There are more than six thousand signs, six thousand ayats in the Quran, out of which more than a thousand speak about science. It's not a book of science. Two plus two is equal to four. That's not written there. But the beauty of it is, what is written, we did not know. You mean me? Did not me the creator wrote. If it had everything of science, it would be a voluminous book as big as the World Trade Center or maybe it's Burj Dubai, tallest yeah. building now. It is not a book of science, brother. Please don't misunderstand. It is to prove to the scientist that this is the word of God. This is the word of creator. What do you have to tell me to disprove it? You have to take out a mistake in the Quran. Quran says in Surah Nisa, chapter four, verse number two. Afala yada tabburun al Quran. Wala kana min in the garilla. Lava judu fiq tilaf and kasira. Do they not consider the Quran with care? Had it been from anyone besides Allah, there would have been contradictions in it. There have been mistakes in it. So for you to disprove the Quran to be the word of Allah, we have to take out mistakes. That is the reason I said, please come up and take out mistakes in the Quran. Why? If it's wrong, I will leave it. If it's right, you join me. It's a two-way, not one way. But uh, how old is the Quran? I don't exactly know. How the Quran is, the is approximately 1400 years old. Okay, and how long have human beings existed in this planet? Human beings in millions of years. Millions of years. Uh, I'm not challenging you. Don't don't get this wrong. I've just no. I, I like people challenging me. What is I the like reason? people challenging me. Yeah. Okay, if you want to challenge, then I'll I'll take that step then. Okay, what is the reason that? Uh, first of all, is I believe Christianity is older than. Uh, Islam. It's, no, uh, no, you're wrong. Years, uh, you're wrong. Is uh, Christianity is not older than how, Islam. How, what's the difference? Islam is there since time immemorial, since man set foot on the earth. Okay. From the first human being, it's already there. Prophet Muhammad is the last and final messenger. He came 1400 years ago. He was the last messenger. Quran is the last revelation, not the first revelation. This is the last testament. Hmm. Otherwise, Islam is there since time immemorial. Isa right. alayhi salam, Jesus Christ was a Muslim according to the Quran. Abraham was a Muslim according to the Quran. Peace be upon them all. So Islam means peace acquired by submitting our will to Almighty God. It is there since time immemorial. Okay, so getting to the point, I asked you the time scale that the Quran has existed and the time scale of human beings. After you Not time scale that, of Quran. Islam is there since time immemorial. Yeah, no, no, of the Quran, the book, Quran. No, uh, the holy book. 
uh, not not Islam. We can say Islam existed for forever, but why was the Quran invent placed on earth afterwards? Very and, good. And, and, and very good, very good. And question. Uh, I also wanted to ask you something I always wanted to know about. That is the uh, Darwin's theory of evolution. Um, I know there's a lot of controversy on that, but why do you do you believe in evolution or you believe man was placed directly and the whole thing of apes the science that has proved that human beings emanated from apes do you agree with Brother, that two questions that science two question. sorry about that no problem two question do you believe in darwin's theory science has proved that human beings have been evaluated from ape do you believe in do you believe that human beings are placed and second question why was quran revealed 14 years back why not before two questions Regarding a correction in your question, science hasn't proved that human beings have been evolved from ape. It is Darwin's theory, not Darwin's fact. It's a theory. There is no book today. There is no book today on the face of the earth which says the fact of evolution. It's theory. The fact of the origin of human beings. No, it's theory. And for your information, Darwin himself said that there were missing links in his theory. If you read his book, on the origin of species. He writes in this on a ship by the name of HMS Beagle. He goes to an island by the name of Calatropis. And there he sees birds were pecking in niches, in holes. Based on the holes they pecked, the beak of the birds became short and long. Based on that observation, he propounded the theory of natural selection. He wrote a letter to his friend Thomas Thompson in 1861 that I have no proof for my theory of evolution, but because it helps me in giving replies to embryology, to genetics, that's the reason I'm propounding. He had no proof on it. That's the reason in our school, you know, to joke around, we used to say, if you were present at Darwin's time, Darwin would have been proved right. Trying to insinuate, I'm telling my colleague, he's a ape, he's a monkey. There were missing links. Furthermore, all the three stages today, science and advance, we have come to know that the first stage, the Australopithecus, and the ice man. The next stage that we have, Neanderthal man, Cro-Magnon, all these stages that we have today of the human being that we found, there's no link between them. Certain things what Darwin said, that life is evolved from water, I agree with it. Quran says that, Surah Ambiya, chapter 21, verse number 30, Allah min al kulla shayin hai. We have created every living thing from water. I believe in that. But saying that we have evolved from one species to the other is a hypothesis. According to molecular biologist Hans S. Craig, he said it is letting your imagination run too wild to say that we have been evolved from apes. If that was true, today we'll find someone in between man and human being. You only find in mythology. You don't find anywhere in the world a monkey man. Do you find? So what do you think evolution has stopped now? It is a hypothesis and most of the scientists today disagree with it. There is only a small negligible percentage which yet believe in Darwin's theory. Majority of the scientists have already disproved Darwin's theory. I feel your knowledge of science is not up to date, brother. But Dr. Naik... Bro not but, wait. All right. You're asking me a question, I'm replying. Then we have to give chance to others. You have already asked five, six questions. No, Let's I thought do you were justice. just having fun, that's all. Sorry? I thought you were being entertained with Having fun? Oh, I'm Besides entertaining you, I want to entertain the other non-Muslim brothers. If all non-Muslim get over, come back to you. All so right. what we realize, Darwin's theory, brother, your knowledge on science is weak. We say Adam and Eve were the first human beings. That's what the Quran says. Furthermore, regarding your second question. Okay. I have to answer your question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have not answered the second question, you want to put the third question. That means you're not listening to me. Or oh, you've forgotten you've asked two questions. No, no, I've asked you the first one. That means you're a good questioner, huh? Now you ask me the question, why was Quran revealed 1400 years back? Why not before? You know my son, he wants to become a doctor. He's telling me, Father, Abba, why do you put me in school and college? Why don't you put me in medical college directly? I said, son, first go to nursery, then go to primary, then go to secondary school, then go to college, then go to medical college. I can't put him in medical college directly. Why? He should know the basics. Similarly, Almighty God is our creator. He kept on sending other revelations. Almighty God, our creator, thought 1400 years back was the right time that human beings could absorb this message. He revealed it. He is our creator. He knows better than you and me. 1400 years back, he revealed his last message. The Quran to the last and final messenger Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and it's mentioned in the Quran in Surah Maida, chapter number 5 verse number 3 On this day have I perfected my religion for you, the perfect form 
and have complete my favor on you. You talk to the human beings. And has chosen for you Islam. After this, nothing new can be added into the basics of Islam. Nothing can be subtracted. That's it. So Almighty God knows when we can imbibe the message of the Quran. And this is the last testament, last messenger Prophet Muhammad. No other messenger will come after this. Hope this answers your question. That and I hope that you even accept, besides being my fan, you also accept my teachings, inshallah. Maybe next time when you come here. Maybe next time. Maybe. You tell me I'll come again tomorrow. I'm flying tomorrow. <laughs> I'll come back fast for you alone. Um, concerning the question he last answered, uh, I reacted to a video a few days ago where um, not what well, I mean did that actually talks about um, how God was sending messages for specific groups and uh, how they dealt with it actually led to how the Quran was finally sent for the entire world just not a specific group uh, which was actually very interesting to listen to I always enjoy listening to such conversations because I feel like they're more logical than anything else that you can think of the first two religions are said to be sent um, the first two the first two religions actually got a message just for their people and here a Muslim saying the Quran is just not for the Muslims but it's for the entire world so anyone who wants to be part of it can be part of it anyone who decides to ignore it can ignore it otherwise god made this revelation with time in parts and he finally did it once for everyone uh, let me know what you guys actually think make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video